Hello my dear friends, welcome to the Java programming playlist. In this video, we are going to see another important concept in Java that is abstract. We are talking about abstract class in Java programming. So what is abstract in Java? We know that every Java program must start with a concept of class without that is Without classes concept, there is no Java program perfect. In Java programming, we have two types of classes. They are, first is a concrete class. A concrete class is one which containing fully defined method or implemented method. So this type of classes we have seen throughout the lecture series. And second is the abstract class. Here abstract class is a class that is declared with abstract keyword an abstract class is one which contains some defined method and some undefined or the abstract method so abstract class is a class which do not have all the methods defined or implemented rather there are some undefined methods just the declaration of the methods are there so what is an abstract class? If a class contains any abstract method, so abstract is just a definition, we don't have the declaration, then the class is declared as an abstract class. So for a class to be abstract, we should have at least one method that is an abstract method. So an abstract class is never instantiated it is used to provide abstraction. So we cannot instantiate an abstract class. Rather, the use of abstract class is just to provide the abstraction that how a program should look like or what all the methods are there and what is their signature, what is the uh, name of the methods and what is the types of different parameters it is taking. It do not have the implementation. So public abstract class phone model. So there is this there is this class which has been declared as abstract. The name of the class is phone underscore model. In that we have one abstract method that is switch off. So and it is a returning type of void and it is declared as abstract. Hence you can see that there is no body of this method. Abstract class are used when we want to achieve security and abstraction that is hide certain details and show only necessary details to the user so abstract class is used when we want to have the security what is an abstract method so a method that is declared without implementation is known as a abstract method so we have seen in the previous example that there was a method switch off which was declared without the implementation. We don't know how the switch off of the phone is taking place. Rather it is saying that there should be a method which does the switch off of the phone. An abstract method can only be used inside an abstract class. So when we have an abstract method, the class should be necessarily declared as an abstract. The body of the abstract method is provided by the class that inherits the abstract class in which the abstract method is present. So body of the abstract method like in the previous case we have seen that switch off was the method but how switch off of the phone is happening that implementation or that code should be there in the derived class of this abstract class. So if there is a class which is inheriting the abstract class then it is compulsory for that class to write the body of that abstract method in the example on is an abstract method so we will see an example in that on is a method so here there is an <coughs> abstract class phone in that there is an abstract method on so we have another class smartphone extending this class now when this phone is extended by smartphone 
it becomes compulsory for this smartphone class to write the implementation of this method on so on is here and here it is the body of this on method where it is printing system dot out dot println turning on and now we are writing phone obj equal to new smartphone so this concept we have seen that is the dynamic method dispatch where we are giving a subclass reference to a superclass variable so phone obj equal to new smartphone and when we call obj dot on it will call the on method of this subclass and it will do the necessary code that is getting executed which is printing the turning on so if we write this program compile and execute what is the output that we will get is turning on i hope the concept of abstract method is clear to you my dear friends thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more videos on java programming